Hey guys, it's Rob. 329 days until I turn 30, and unlike last episode, I'm coming to you feeling like a conquering hero. Uh, the check-in is good today. Uh, back down 2.8 pounds to back under that 230 mark. We're going to talk about that as our main subject today, uh, talk about what I did there. And uh, on the novel beta editing, uh, regained some of my momentum, cut through some stuff, started correcting things, and... Uh, figuring out, uh, figuring out more stuff, kind of broke through my, uh, my, my block and my fear and my, just the whole, the whole nine yards. Everything that was this keeping me from making uh, progress. It is still kind of going slow, but at least it's it's going much more. Um, so I, I rubber banded a little bit. Uh, I was down below 230. I bounced back up. And then I just bounce back down again. I want to talk about how I bounce back down because uh, it's it's going to turn into a critical change that I'm going to have to maintain. Uh, in this past update period, um, I changed my exercise regimen. Uh, what I have been doing is half an hour on the elliptical at a fairly brisk pace, um, usually three times between each update. Uh, so I do it about six times a week ish, um, and. Uh, that's been that's been good and everything to me, but um, I had to try something a little different. Uh, so I started just doing vigorous walking, and I did it for sixty to seventy minutes each day. So I doubled the amount of time I spent exercising, and I, I kept a brisk pace. And I, uh, you know, I'm going up and down hills and everything, and uh, and doing doing some. Um, you know, by the end of it, I'm, I'm walking in, you know, drenched in sweat and everything, just like when I got off the elliptical. Um, but it certainly, it certainly feels more, uh, more strenuous by the time I'm done. I actually had to, like, crash down for a nap a couple of times uh, afterward uh, just to kind of recover. Um, but I think this is going to have to be a change that stays. I think this is going to have to be a change to, to how I'm handling this diet in the first place uh, to get my my plateau lower, you know, to, uh, I don't know how much more I can change the amount of food that I'm eating because I feel deprived if I go much lower than where I am. So the only other variable I can change to really make things keep moving is exercise. Um, and, uh, part of, you know, part of what kind of got me looking toward this change, uh, was a picture my buddy Adam posted on Facebook. Uh, where he showed his um, his himself at his top weight and and his weight today, where he's down uh, close to two hundred pounds, and uh, he he credits. I mean, he did he did a protein diet, um, but he also credits the fact that he is bicycling, you know, upwards of hours upon hours each day for fun. He he rode bikes around town and everything, and. Uh, it just it got me to realizing that there is no substitute for increasing the number of calories burned. I mean, honestly, I'm I'm ultimately a pretty sedentary guy. I have sedentary hobbies: reading, running tabletop role playing games, playing computer games, writing, all this stuff. Um, and you know, I I probably I probably think I'm burning more calories throughout my day than I actually am, um, you know, due to the fact that that I think you know most people, maybe not most people, but a lot of people are working in jobs where they're up and walking around doing their jobs. I certainly was in retail a while ago and and running around all day on my feet for eight hours at a time. It does, uh, you know, it, it burns more calories than you give it credit. Um, but now, as I'm as I'm sitting a lot more and and you know when I have the option to do things. I tend to choose sitting things. Uh, I'm just plain and simple going to have to make the exercise that I do get more intense, more potent, last longer, uh, and, and just plain burn more calories. So uh, hour-long walks on hills during the heat of the day with proper head covering so I don't get a sunburn in my savanna. Um, and, uh, you know, um, as as the diet goes on, I didn't appreciate how much I would have to adapt, but that's going to be the case, uh, you know. After multiple months here floating around this 230 mark, um, something something had to change, and I think for the longest time I, I refused to admit it, and I wanted to just keep on doing the same thing because it felt attainable. But the proof is in the 
record of videos behind us, where the weight has not really changed in an appreciable fashion in a really long time. Um, but that's growth. That's, you know, it's a shame I put it off for this long. It's awesome that I'm figuring it out now. So uh, that makes me happy and excited. I am going to keep doing long, vigorous walks during which I will think creative thoughts and then come back here prepared to unpack them, maybe after a warm shower, a quick nap, and a cup of coffee. Um, <laughs> because it's exhausting. Uh, and uh, and thank you. Thanks for watching, listening, all the, all the stuff you do. Uh, tomorrow morning... I'll be playing video games on Twitch TV if you would like to watch. Uh, I have repaired my Sims 3 installation uh, since the most recent patch, because it was totally busted and wouldn't even boot. So it looks like we can play The Sims 3 tomorrow. It's going to be nice. It's going to be cool to get back to that family. Hope you come check things out on the Twitch TV link below, 10 a.m. U.S. Central Time. I am going to pack this video out and put it on YouTube, and then uh, I will see some of you tomorrow, I hope. Have a great... What is it? It's, it's Monday. Have a great week. I will talk to you guys on Thursday.